Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today I am working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge, and this is from Roxy's Creations. It's a, her YouTube channel. And this week, Rachel has came up, come up with a project of collaging and then making a little um, fold-out journaling spot. I'm not really sure what you call them. It's little folders like that you can journal in, and, we'll, and I'll show you how we make them. And um, so I'm going to, oops, I need, I was going to get started, but I'm going to start my 45 minute timer. And then I'm just going to start collaging first on some of this paper. And she said to turn your paper the, the long ways to collage on it this time instead of, um, normally, you know, you turn it up taller. But um, this time we're going to collage it turned on its side so that um, we can make these and they look like a lot of fun I really enjoy all of her challenges and I enjoyed last week's and I've been, and I made several of those last week um, on camera and off camera and um, I've enjoyed them and if I sniffle I want to go ahead and apologize ahead of time for the sniffles I my allergies are really messed up everything is blooming so beautifully here which is awesome I love all the flowers the wildflowers and the trees blooming and everything and the leaves are turning green or coming out and turning green and being so gorgeous but at the same time it tears up my allergies it is terrible all the pollen and so yesterday we were trying to install some um i got me some of those porch lights where you hang up they look like the edison bulbs and you hang those across your porch and i got those because i wanted to put them on my back porch so we can enjoy it out there this summer and so we decided to install them yesterday, and when we were installing, the wind was blowing, and the pollen was horrendous. It, it was just like a whole, it actually looked like sawdust in the air, is the only way to describe it, but it was just a whole pollen going everywhere, and seeds were flying everywhere from the trees, and so um, it tore my allergies up. And I got a little better last night, but then today, the wind has been blowing again, and so when, it, when the wind blows, it just blows the pollen everywhere and messes up my allergies. And then my husband this afternoon decided that he wanted to mow the yard. And so that, um, that started up too. So I um, haven't quite, let me get my basket over here for my scraps. I'm having quite a time with my allergies this year. So hopefully I'm not sniffling too much. And I try not to. I, it's just I get to sneezing and sniffling and carrying on. I don't feel bad. I feel great, actually. It's just that um, it's just that I don't like sniffling on camera. But if I'm doing a 45-minute challenge. There's probably going to be no way around it. So I've just got some papers here that I've printed out, and then other ones that I've just had that I was leftover scraps. And so I'm just going to collage this with them. And just and I really love collage and I think I've already said that but this is like my favorite thing to do and some days when I don't feel like I have no idea what I want to make um but I want to create something I just sit down and collage my scraps I just start collaging or I print out paper and just start collaging because I've got this dictionary I've, it's a very thick dictionary an old dictionary and so I just tear pages out of it and start collaging on them and I figure I can use them and I thought about pulling out some of the pages I'd already collaged and use it for this project but um, but in her video she did mention that we were um, supposed to do the collage as well as part of the challenge so I am going to just collage some and then I may pull out some that I've already done as well and do the same thing to them cut them up and use them but I thought I would collage a few and so this, um, let me get some book page here. Oops, all my little scraps went flying. And my little Zoe girl, one of my little schnauzers, she's laying on a blanket behind me. Hopefully she doesn't decide to come and get the uh, paper I dropped. She has been quiet. Right before I started filming, they Got to barking, carrying on. I didn't know if I was going to be able to film. And hopefully I can do the whole 45 minutes because it is it is evening here. And so um, my children are 
playing video games and different things and so they may get a bit noisy. So hopefully they, I can get this completed. So that's from a little calligraphy book that I have that I've been using for quite a while now. I love the sheets in it. It has little bits of calligraphy. I think that looks good on, on some of these collaged papers. So I've completed my steampunk journal, and so I'm going to be um, uploading a video in, let's see, probably, not sure, probably in a couple of days of the completed journal. And so now I'm getting ready to get started on the butterfly journal that I've been wanting to work on. And I've got so many other journals in mind and projects I want to do. I've got a long list, so, um, but I'm getting, I'm glad to have completed one. And so I'm curious, what are you working on this week? Do you have any projects that you are working on? Any journals, any any type of projects I'd love to hear below I love hearing from your comments and hearing from you below and I love um, I love hearing what everybody's up to and that was my sound sir. did you hear she made like a snore noise I think she must be that was loud <laughs> oh she's rolling around I wish I had a camera pointed over there so you guys could see her. She's, I've put a big fluffy blanket down for her and so she could lay on it in here with me so maybe she wouldn't fuss. But she is um, rolling around in the blanket and just having a lot of fun by, by herself. So she's precious. She likes to stay with me. She's, of the two girls, she's probably the most spoiled. She likes to hang out with me and be with me wherever I'm at. And so she... Um, she typically stays with me all over the house, wherever I go, she's with me. She, she's the precious one. The other one's very precious too, though. And as she is spoilt to me, but not as much. She likes to roam around and get into stuff and follow the kids around and see what they're up to as well. So, and she's, um, she's more of a little busybody, seeing what she can get into. But. They're both good little girls. They're a lot of fun. They keep me busy, but they're a lot of fun. Let me take this book page. So, other than the allergies, the weather has been gorgeous, though. Today, it's turned off really cold, and my husband says that it's supp we're supposed to have another frost tonight. So, it's supposed to get down in the 30s, which is pretty cold for for recently, because recently it's been really warm, and I have the air on, but now I'm gonna have to turn the heat back on tonight, because it'll be cold in here. Right this time of year, it's, it's like that. We go from hot to cold to hot to cold, so we turn the air on, and then we turn the heat on, we turn the air on. So it's, it's just that time of year, I guess. Let me get a little piece of this here. I like this paper. I'm gonna... My printer was acting up. It's got a little marking on it, so I'm just going to pull that off. And I'm trying to see where I'm going to add this piece. Maybe right in here. If I say I was gonna maybe like that I really just add these papers wherever I think it turns out good no matter what I love the look of collage so let me see here which other paper did I want to use oh, I like this one this is one of my favorite papers I print this out all the time and use it in collaging I wind up using the whole sheet when I get to collaging scraps in there let's see maybe I need to tear it tear it down a bit Let's 
see, let's add some more music paper. I can't believe it's already, this, this is Wednesday when I'm filming this. I'm not sure when I'll get it uploaded, but it sometimes my internet takes a while to get these uploaded, so I'll have to wait when and upload it when there's nobody really, you, when the children are on it. But, um, so it's Wednesday, but I can't believe how fast this week is flying by. It doesn't feel like it should be Wednesday. I feel like we should be still on Monday, but this week has flown by, but it's been a great week. We've had a, we've actually had an excellent week this week. So it's been, it's been really good. So I have to, tomorrow I have to pack, that's why I can't believe it's this close to the end of the week. I have to get all my orders packed in my Etsy shop. I try to pack, I pack some during the week, other days, if I need to, if I'm, the order's supposed to ship, but I try to pack the majority of my orders on Thursdays and sometimes Fridays, depending on how many orders I have and how long it takes me. Um, I may, it may be Friday, but I have to pack a bunch of orders tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get them done. If I can, all in one day, so that I can have a long weekend, but it may not work out for me too, but that's okay. But I'm going to try to get that packed, and it's almost Mother's Day, so orders pick up some this time of year for Mother's Day, since we do sell jewelry and items for moms, so, and I don't mind it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. A lot of the holidays are busy for us, but I do enjoy that. And so, there's a little piece that didn't get glued down. Let me see if I can add that big piece there. Yeah. My fingers are all covered in glue already. And I have no idea how much time it's been. Let me see if I can, okay, turn my iPad on and see. I've got my timer set on my iPad again, but the mm -hmm. screen keeps going dark. I need to set it so that the screen doesn't um, go dark so quickly so I can actually see the time, keep track of it. So I've already used this one. Let me see if there's some, oh, I hadn't used this one in this yet. So let me tear some of this out. I want to put this one. I think it's very pretty paper, so I can put it right here. Uh oh, you okay, Zoe? Sounds like she slid up. She's she is now crawling around my chair. I think she wants me to pick her up. Once again, she hears me up here talking, and she thinks I'm talking to someone. She wants to see. Shh. Roxy. Roxy. <laughs> I apologize for that noise. So now that was Roxy. She's she's gonna she's fussing at Zoe. I'm not sure why. Let me pause my time. I'm gonna pause my timer. I am so sorry about all that noise. I did pause my timer, and then um. I did talk. I did pause my timer so that I could come back and be right on schedule of the 45 minutes. My oldest schnauzer, she just decided that she was going to start barking at the baby one. She does that sometimes. I, I think that she must have wanted the blanket herself and didn't want to share it. It's a big blanket. I'm not sure why she couldn't share it, but she didn't want to share it, I don't think. Or either she just really wanted to play. I'm not sure which. Sometimes when she wants to play, she gets to barking at her sister. And they are actually sisters, which is neat. Just one is older than the other one. We got them from the same lady. We just, um, two years apart. But they have a lot of fun together. But sometimes the older one kind of barks at the younger one like she's getting on to her about something. Who knows? 
So she kind of sees herself as the mother. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm going to start with this one, I think, and start chopping it up. Oops, I got a few little corners here. Chopping it up and making some of those because, well, I just tore that off. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It'll look good in the end when we chop it up. Okay, so I've got 29 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and chop a few out of this one, I think. Maybe I should make another one. Let's chop this one up, and then we'll go and see. See how many we can get done. I can always come back and do more. So, let's see. She said that we need to chop these up into big tags and little tags. So, let me do a big one. And then a little one. There's a big one. And then I'll do one about an inch smaller. And there's a little one. Uh-oh. Let me move this paper out of the way. And then do another big one. And another little one. And then I have a big one here. And so maybe I should collage just a little bit more to have another one. Let me see. Or... Yeah, that's what I'll do. I thought about just getting my sheet from earlier today. I did some collaging earlier today off camera just um, for fun. And so let me collage. Let me think. I think I'll just cut up from earlier today so that I've got, let me see here. It's a lot of the same papers. So I'm just going to cut this one up that I did earlier. And I am going to just add it in and hopefully that's not considered cheating on the challenge. I think the challenge is just so you can have fun and to see what you can get done in 45 minutes. But I am gonna work the entire 45 minutes, so I think that's good that I'm crafting for 45 minutes. So I guess that's all that really matters as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. When you get to know me, I am not one to stress a lot of the rules and things. I just go with the flow. So, um, there, we got three sets. So, I think that'd be good. I just like going with the flow. I, I like the challenges, but um, I, I don't think the rules are set in stone. I think that you can interpret it the way you want to and do. It's just to actually, I think it's to actually craft and to enjoy yourself. So, um, I did print out some papers that I'm going to put on the backs of these because these are going to be journaling spots, so I want to be sure that I have lines on the inside here. So let me see here. I'm going to do this one and this one was together. And she did say, you know, when you cut them apart, you need them to be close together. I know these two weren't, but they're very close to the same papers, but um, so that you can put them on here and they'll go together. So let me see here. I'm just going to glue that down like that. Okay. So we're just leaving a little gap. We're going onto the paper and then we're leaving a little gap here. And I don't remember how big that she said to leave, but I'm just gonna, I don't know that she did. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of gap. Okay, so you just missed the gluing down of this. Once again, my camera cut off. 45 minutes seems to be a rough time for my for my camera. I think that I just don't have enough space. I'm using my phone, and I really don't think I have enough space on my phone. I need to um, delete a bunch of stuff off my phone. And I keep deleting things, but for some reason, it just keeps filling up. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with my phone and why why I can't. It, it says I have room, but every time I get to film it, it turns off. So you did miss the gluing down of that one, but um, I think I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. Every time I go to do this, it um, turns off. So I do apologize for that. And hopefully for you all, it's just a few seconds. For me, it's like a few minutes trying to get it all um, figured out. And I did lose track of my time. So we'll see. Um, I've still got the timer going. And it says I have 19 minutes, but I think I lost about five minutes. But we'll see how that goes. We'll, it's no big deal. But yeah, so it's um, 29 minutes.
between all the noise, the dogs barking, my camera cutting off, he would think 45 minutes. I could get through 45 minutes, but um, that's okay. I know. It's, it's a busy household, and so I do like it. I've always, for years, I wanted a busy household uh, before I could have when we thought we couldn't have but one child. I always wanted a noisy, busy household, so I love it when children are running around and the house is busy. I just hope that it doesn't bother any of you. Um, I try to edit it a lot out so it doesn't bother you, and so hopefully... Hopefully it doesn't annoy you when you're watching this and you can still enjoy the video even with all the distractions and the noise and the camera cutting off because I really enjoy making my videos and um, I hope that you can enjoy them as well. This is a fun hobby for me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. Let's see here. I'm just going to cut right along the bottom and then the side. You know, even all of them, even it up quite a bit. And then the top. And then the other side. And hopefully the inside that turned out okay when I did that. Oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. And then I have this one. That I'm going to trim up. One more. Then I'm going to ink around them once I get done. I want to ink around them. And I may even sew around them. I don't know. I've got a pile of things I need to go and sew. I just put them in my basket and waiting. Waiting for the day that I bring out my sewing machine. I don't have my sewing machine set up all the time. I don't have big enough space for that. So I just bring it out and try to sew a lot at one time. Okay, so there, let me set this aside here. And let's take all these scraps and put them in this basket. Oh, those are some good ones. I think I'll keep all of these for later for more collaging. And then we've got these. And so let me find my fabric. And I'm just going to use some muslin today to do this. And so we're just supposed to glue down the center here. So let me see here. Find my scissors. I'm sure I have buried them. Straighten up that edge there. Okay. So I'm just going to add some glue down the center. This is just a little small bottle of Fabri Tac. I just had one that I emptied into it going to add that down the center there. Press it down. My fabric is a bit wide. I may need to glue just a little bit more here. Glue down some of the, not just the white, glue down on some of the printed so that you don't, the white don't show. There we go. Which is going to show through right here, which is fine. Alrighty, and now just trim across. Put string, and I'm trim across right here. And then we've got these little folders here. We're kind of like a little folder, little booklet. And I did get a little. I may have made these way too. Um, <laughs> this one much bigger than I should have, but I did get me a tab punch. I saw Rachel using hers. I think this is similar to hers. And so I saw this in Hobby Lobby the other day and I was like, okay, I think that's the same one. And I really liked seeing how she used hers. So I um, am always cutting my tabs out by hand and I thought this would be an excellent way to have tabs without having to cut them by hand. It looked like a very quick and easy way. So. I'm still learning how to use it. So then you could just put a little tab right here. 
I may put my little tab down. Let's see, maybe up in here. I didn't realize it matched the paper exactly. That'll be cute. Or let's make another one and we'll use that one on a different one. Since that does match to that, it's the same paper. I, just, I like something different. Could use this one. I'm trying to remember how to fold. Is it going to be wide enough though? I'm still learning that because I haven't, I just bought it on Monday. I actually have not been in a Hobby Lobby um, in a year or more, and I finally got to go, and um, and I saw this, and I was like, okay, I got to get this. And I also picked up a few other things, which was fun. Oops. See, for this one, you got to make sure you don't cut your fold, or you have two pieces instead of one piece. So that's what got to go right down below the fold line. What did I do wrong again? Oh well, I'm learning with you. We can learn together here. So I gotta go a little further down. Okay. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Thank goodness it's just scrap paper, right? Okay. There we go. So, we will just add it right here like that. I like that now. These little pieces, let me put them in my basket over here. I guess I should look at my timer and see. I think I'm going to estimate that it took me about five minutes to get everything set back up where my camera cut off, or my phone cut off filming, so um, I shouldn't be off too much if I do that. So, we'll see. Okay, that one I love. And let me see if I can get this to stay open so I can see how much time I have. Okay, so let's add the muslin to this one. Let me see this direction. I'm not going to cut it as wide, I don't think. Okay. Get all the strings. Well, I think these are a lot of fun. I'm, I've, I think I will be making more of these. Because this, these are a lot of fun, and I love how they turn out. They're so cute. And I need to make some in the papers that I'm using for my upcoming journal as well. Get all those wrinkles out. Okay. And I see a little piece here I must have missed. Glue him. There we go. And then we just fold this one over. Oh, that is so cute. And that's going to look so good when I get through inking it. And then this one will look cute on there. So let's just add some glue to that. Now, I shouldn't say anything, but it's quiet and down here. The animals and the kids are all being quiet and probably shouldn't mention it because then everybody will get loud again. But, oops, I got glue string hanging. Oh, these are so pretty. I love them. And one more. Let's finish this one up and then we'll decorate the front of them. Yeah, I spoke too soon. have gotten this one too thin. Let's see here. Let's get these, oops, get all the strings off. I want it to be fuzzy. Okay, I want the strings hanging like that. And so, let's see here. Let's take and put it down through here. I check with my husband all the time that I need an actual room. He needs to build me a room on. I need an actual room to craft and film in because it is so noisy. I'm right in the middle of the house where I'm sitting because it's an opened, open floor plan, plan type house and our office is, it's just got three walls. And so that's where my craft room is set up 
and so I'm opened up into the hallway and right into really the I can you can hear everything going on in the main part of the house so it's um, quite noisy so okay this turned out really good too I love it love it love, love it now this one you, you know you don't know what you're gonna get when you cut it apart it turned out a little plain but I'm gonna add some um, things to the front of it and I think it'll look fine and I'm thinking Oops. What if instead of a paper tab, even though I got my new tab bunch I could be using, what if I add a little fabric tab to this one? Maybe, I don't know. I may add it to the back one right here so that it sticks out. That might be cute. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or no, I don't think I changed my mind. I think I want this one. I think I want to add more color to it, more print to the front here. So that's what I'm going to do. That would have been cute as well, but I'm going to do this. Okay, let's get this in here. And punch. There we go. I think, that, I think that's going to be adorable there, so I'm going to use that. Well, I got three made up, so that's good. And I've got a bunch of other paper that I've been collaging. Just actually, I was cleaning off my desk this weekend, and um, or my craft table, and I had all these scraps, and I was cleaning so good. I was putting things away, and then all of a sudden, I decided, hey, you've got all these scraps. Why don't you start collaging? So I got sidetracked, pulled out the glue again, pulled out my inks, and started collaging and trying to use up my scraps but eventually I got back to back to cleaning but it did take a while but I did get my area cleaned off but you wouldn't tell it now by after just a few minutes of crafting up it's a hot mess again okay I'm just going to ink around these just a little I think that they look good inked with this brown ink okay Actually, I think I could do this. Let me decorate them first, and then I can ink them at the end. Because I'm not sure if inking was part of the challenge or not. But I would have them completed. Okay, so that looks good. That is so pretty. I don't even know if I need anything on the front of it. But I did um, cut out some things. I was thinking something like that. Or that one. Let's see. And I've cut out some more from different kits. I like this one on here. And I am going to ink it before I put it on. Didn't need much because it looks like it's inked already when you print it out. And I think that was a free file from Artie May's site. I think that's where it came from. And then these these were purchased from Sweet Pea Curiosities, I think is what you call it. I found her through Instagram and she sells on Etsy. She's got all kinds of um, printables to download, digitals, I guess I should say. And I got I chose this lined paper with a little print in the background so that way. It's a great journaling spot. You've got a good little area to um, write in. So I think these are gonna be great. Rachel has all kinds of wonderful ideas each week. So that one, I think we're just going there. Don't know if I want it in the center or maybe down here at the bottom. I think right there in the center would be good. Don't wanna overthink it. I'm just going to add that there. Stick that down right there. That is so pretty. I love it. Okay, so we got one completed. And I could decorate the back side, but I think the paper's pretty enough. It doesn't need anything. That is very pretty. And then, let's see, this one does have that big flower right in the middle, but I might could add the little 
birds in the cage. Let me ink it up because it's very white on the edges. And let's see how that one looks. I like that. Do I want it? I like it right here. That is so pretty. Let me take here. I'm going to ink around some of these edges first because I like to do that sometimes. I think it adds to it. And I'm sure my time is running out. Yeah, so let's add this. Right to the front here. Oops, got a little glue piece there. Okay, so let's just add this right in here. There we go. That is pretty, and the back is pretty. It doesn't need anything. And we'll do one more. And then my time will be pretty much up. So let me ink this one first so I can kind of be thinking. As I'm inking, I'll be looking at it, the colors, and thinking about what I want to do with it. So let's see. I've got, it's got some greens on the front here. And hmm. so you, oh, where I cut this. I was going to say, what's these little shredded pieces coming from? But it's where I trimmed it and I didn't get them loose. Okay. These come together really quick, too. So this is nice have something this is a good idea to keep I need to start me an idea journal I thought ever since the beginning of the year that I should start one and I have it so I'd really need to get one going because this would be great to put in one so I don't so that I remember it so I don't forget it I guess I'm trying to say and so that you can look in it and have when you're looking for ideas and let's see which one I don't want the yellow with it that one may be cute with it or is this more of a rose one? There is a lot of roses on the front, though. Hmm. <laughs> I'm now overthinking it, aren't I? This one came out a lot smaller, so it's harder to put the card on the front. I could just add a flower. Let's, let's see if I have a flower to add really quickly. Some different things that I've cut out. Mm. That might be neat there. I really think I like these. So here's a pink, pink, pink one. A little pink one. That may be all that it needs on the front. Kind of like that. Right in there. Maybe a little something like that. Let's ink this up. Find my sponge here. And then what if I done it like that? It may be covering up a lot of my collagen on the front. There is my timer, so, but I think I have just a few more minutes because I did have to stop and empty my phone off so that I could, um, so that I could start back filming. So I got just a few more minutes. And there goes the girls again. Oh, I hear what they're doing. They are fighting with the cat once again. They are hyped up this evening, I think. It's just so cool outside, though. They can't go out and play on the porch or nothing while I'm doing this. The temperature's really dropped this evening, and the wind is cold, cold. So. But I 
think that looks cute. I like this. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this, and I hope that all the noise and the dogs barking and the stops of the camera and all the different things that went on, I hope that that did not bother you and that you still were able to enjoy the video and enjoy the project. And um, if you tried this project, be sure to use the hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge, and that way, um, if you're on Instagram or Facebook and you use that tag, um, I can see it because I searched that tag just to see others um, when they participate in it. And then on Instagram, you can follow that tag so that you can see what everybody's creating in their weekly challenge. So in Roxy's weekly challenge. So um, I do appreciate you watching and thank you so much for subscribing if you've already subscribed. And if you hadn't, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And, um, and be sure to hit the like. It always helps our videos if you hit the like button. And here are the finished little folders. And I think they turned out adorable. And I will be making bunches more. If that's even correct grammar, I don't think it is. But I will be making a lot more. I think they turned out so cute. And see, this paper will be great to journal in. And then this one has the lines. And then this one has lines. So these turned out really nice. And um, hopefully you'll try creating some yourself. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and bye.